Good afternoon and welcome back to my second informative backgammon video. Please subscribe if you like my content or you just like being serenaded by the dulcet tones of the Brummie accent. Let's get started. First move, first opening reply. White to play, 5-3. How would you play it? And more importantly, why? What is a rationale behind your decision? Now, the correct response is to hit loose on the five point. Why is this? Now, as we said in the prior video, the early opening game, you must you must fight for your key points, your five points, your four points. Here, Green has split his back checkers in an attempt to make an advanced anchor. Now, we do not want that to happen. If Green is successful in that objective, he will have that advanced anchor for most of the game and cause us innumerable, insufferable problems. So let's use this as an opportunity to hit him off that and begin to establish that five point for ourselves. In a subsequent role, we ourselves might cover it as white and then that will be an asset for us throughout the game. Now, this is a good illustration of considering the second best move. A number of players might automatically make the three point. So I might think it's a second in a board point. It is also an asset. But if you consider the second best move, which is hitting loose, which is actually the best move, you evaluate whether I should make the three point, whether I should hit loose. You see the value in both positions. You do a little bit of thinking. You can see that hitting loose has more advantages there are further advantages than just preventing green making that advanced anchor. We are also not enabling him to take his full roll and to use the stacks on the six and the eight point. So again, he can't do something constructive on the other side of the board. We're also allowing ourselves good diversification of numbers as white threes and ones would cover our five point. Some of the higher numbers would be escaping on the other side of the board. So we hit loose on the five point because there's a clear rationale for that decision. And when you look at all the reasons, it's clearly the right move and making the three point is an error. Now we're going to look at four more positions and I want you to apply this thinking um, to try to make the correct uh, play. So here, white to play 4-3. Now the correct move here is to split the back checkers with a 3 and then to hit loose with a 4. Now again, there are reasons why this is the best play. The first thing to consider is that usually when our opponent has the back checkers split, we want to do the same. There is a symmetry in backgammon. What our opponent does, we do to a, to a certain extent. And here we should split our back checkers in an attempt to make that advanced anchor. The second reason is that by hitting our opponent loose on the two point, we are duplicating twos. So we can see that green would also need a two to unstack his six point and hit us on our four where we've split our back checkers. So we are duplicating number two on both sides of the board. A third reason is that even if green were to hit us on the two point, no number allows him to escape. We have blocked 
the point which is six away from the two point or eight point as white. So even if green were to roll a two six, he wouldn't be able to take that green checker out of our home board. 2-6 actually plays pretty badly for green. What would he even do in that instance? He would probably play a checker from the 24 to the 18 point. Or he would bring one down from the mid. What you would do, you would force your opponent into difficult decisions. And that's exactly what we want to do. It's part of a psychology of backgammon. I'm trying to put you in awkward positions where you have to make awkward decisions that you're probably likely to get wrong. So hitting with a two and splitting the back checkers is clearly right for a number of reasons. Now here we can have a look at his third position, white to play two one. What would you do and why would you make that decision? So here, the best move is to just split the back checkers and go to the 21 point. Again, we can ask ourselves a question, why is this not as good as the second best move? Now, the rule applies that usually we do not want to have blots on both sides of the board. We are too vulnerable to attack. And here, because green has his back checkers split, he is in an attacking position. We can do some shot counting and see that green can hit us with twos and fours in our home board and also three six, four six um, in the outfield. There are also some good doubles that will hit us such as double four, double two. By playing the second best play, we are just leaving ourselves open to attack, which is why it's better to just play 24 to 21, hope for an advanced anchor on a future roll. Position four, white to play four two. The best play here is to bring two down. Hit the checker, and bring another one off the mid on stacking a heavy point. Now this position is a good illustration of thinking about other plays. The automatic play would be to make the four point. It's a, it's a second best point, it's an asset, but making the four here would be a significant blunder. It's better to bring two down and Again, we can think forward about what would likely happen. Now, we bring two off the mid, we put green on the bar, then green rolls a 5-4. Green would hit us on the nine point, but then it's our roll as white. We come into our home board very easily with 35 numbers, and then we have twos and fours to provide a return shot on green's blot in the outfield. So the reason we have two off the mid is just because we have a lot of numbers to hit green in return. But that is the worst case scenario. If green didn't hit us with a fly shot, then we have huge potential to make more inner board points, to make our bar point, to develop a prime structure. We have all those spare checkers in the outfield, so our numbers are very well diversified to use different roles to make points in our board. So that's why two down is even better than playing 24-20 with the four. Just puts us in a very flexible position to create a very strong front structure. We can have a look at a couple of variations here. Um, Green has made the opening 6-2 play by coming to the 18 point, uh, splitting the back checkers with a major split. 
and here the 3, 1 and the 4, 2. So with a 3, 1 it's correct to make the 5 point and with a 4, 2 it's correct to hit loose on the bar. Now there are two reasons to explain this. Now the first being that the 5 point is the 5 point, it's the best point on the board. If you have an opportunity to make it, it's usually the right decision. And secondly, it's about leaving a spare on the eight point. Ideally, we do not want to strip the eight point, which means we want more than two checkers on that point. So you can see by the loose hit for two to the bar, we're leaving a spare on the eight point. So next turn we can cover with sixes and ones, or we can use numbers to make inner board points. So those are the two reasons the value of inner board points and also not stripping the R8. And let's look at one final position, white to play 3-1. Again, apply the rationale. Think of the two best positions, the two best moves, and then decide which one is best and why. So here, you would have identified that you could have made the five point, you could have hit loose on the other side of the board. Now, when we decide which is best, we can put it down to two good things are better than one good thing. Now here, by hitting the green checker on the 20 point, we're gaining a huge race lead as white. We're sending green back 20 pips, which is a which is a lot of numbers. An average roll is eight. So we're sending him back two and a half rolls. Also, we are preparing ourselves to make that advanced anchor. So we're doing two good things by attacking. If we made the five point instead, then we're allowing green to have too much momentum. The pendulum has swung in his favor. We're enabling him to cover that blot or to prime us. And then we would have a big problem extricating those two back checkers. Also by coming to the 20 point, we allow ourselves good ways to escape the checker. We give ourselves more flexibility in that position because we have split our back checkers. So here, 24 to 20 is just right for a lot of reasons and making the five is a big blunder. So there we are, some things to think about. Thank you for joining me again. Always consider the second best play, develop that conscious understanding and subscribe if you like listening to my lovely voice. Thank you so much. Happy rolling. See you soon.